I am Leo Lefebvre from Georgetown University, and I'm delighted to be here in Trento to talk about religion and social innovation. Throughout history, religious actors have played many different roles in relation to social innovation. Sometimes they've resisted it, sometimes they've defended established orders, other times they've been quite subversive, leading movements of critique and change. In the talk I'm giving today, I'll be focusing on the history of racial relations in the United States in relation to Christian faith. In the United States, there was a distinctive set of opportunities and challenges. Some of the first European migrants, the pilgrims, thought European society had become corrupt and they saw themselves as like the Israelites on an errand in the wilderness to construct a new civilization. Downside of this was they tended to see the American Indians as analogous to the Canaanites and thought they didn't have a right to the lands that they had already lived in. And so you have both this dream of America being a city on a hill and also the tragedy of the relation to the American Indians. However, this was challenged from the beginning. Roger Williams was a critic of the pilgrims. He thought the American Indians had a right to their lands and he didn't think Christians had a right to drive them out. So he was driven out of Massachusetts Bay Colony and founded his own in uh, Rhode Island as a haven for what he called soul liberty, freedom of conscience, and offered religious liberty to all who came. In the later history, there's a lot of different roles. Religion became a defender of the institution of racialized slavery, but it also became a major critic. Some of the most important social innovations came out of the movements known as the Great Awakenings. These were revival movements of Protestant Christians that preached a strong Protestant doctrine of sin, were all caught in patterns of sin from which were not free to escape, but were given freedom in Christ Jesus and are called to accept it. They were very skeptical of hierarchical structures from the Church of England to the King of England, and this was one factor in the American Revolution. It also was the great moment for enslaved African Americans and American Indians because for the first time they began embracing Christian faith and began to assume positions of leadership. So this sets up a whole strand of American society that strongly criticizes the established institutions for their inequality and their injustice. And this will flow into the 20th century civil rights movement led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who drew upon both the biblical call for equality and also the best ideals of the founding of America. At the present time, Americans are revisiting the whole history of racial relations, often in a very painful way. Just in the last week, the city of New Orleans took down the monuments erected to a number of the generals of the Confederate States who had rebelled against the United States and fought to protect the institution of slavery. The mayor, Mitch Landrieu gave a very moving speech on how Americans need to learn again about our own history in this area. There have been a number of incidents of police violence in relation to African Americans that have stirred up considerable protest. And so Americans have to learn from our past so that we can, we can move beyond it. And religion can be both a problematic factor historically, but it also can be a tremendous movement for social change.